Hello friends, welcome to Nag Graphics. In this video, we are going to draw this design in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start working on it. First of all, make sure that your smart guides are on. And if you're unsure, go to the views menu and make sure that this option is ticked. Right? So let's start drawing now. Pick the art tool. Come to the center of the artboard and click once here. In the dialog box, enter the length of x axis as 230 points and the length of y axis to be 300 points. Change the base along to y and keep the slope value to be 50 only. Now pick rotate tool. Come over this anchor point. Now press alt key and click once to open the dialog box. Enter 15 degrees here and click copy. Now, now pick white arrow tool and drag over this area to select the two anchor points and now press Ctrl J to join these anchor points to make it a single path. Now with the black arrow tool, select the full path, pick rotate tool and come over this anchor point, press alt key and click once. Enter 45 degrees and press copy. Now press Ctrl D for 6 times to repeat this action. Ok now press Ctrl A to select all the paths and go to object menu and make it a compound path. Now with this shape selected, pick the reflect tool and come to the center of this shape. Smart guides will help you on this. Press alt key and click once where the anchor word is flashing. Choose vertical and press copy. Now the new copy is selected, change the stroke size to none and for the fill color I'm going to gradient and here we have seasons and select this gradient. Now go to gradient panel, choose the type to radial and this gradient needs some adjustment. That's look good. Ok now with the black arrow select the other shape, change the stroke size to none and pick eyedropper tool to fill the same gradient and now change its opacity value to 50%. The basic shape is ready here and now we'll remove this flatness and add some smoothness to it. For this pick the ellipse tool and come over the center of this shape. Smart guides are helping me to point on the anchor which is the center of this shape. Press alt key and click once here. Now if you are following me, enter 749.6152 as width and height to make a perfect circle needed for our job. Change the fill to none. Now this circle is in the front of all the shapes. Press Ctrl A to select all the shapes and now go to the object menu and make clipping mask. Now that we have achieved the smoothness, but there is a small problem. The two shapes are misaligned as you see. To rectify it, go to the layers panel and in the clip group, select this shape having lower opacity. Now pick the rotate tool. Double clicking this tool here will make the anchor point to be the center of the selected shape and that's what we need. Now enter minus 0 0.69 degree here and that will nicely align the shape as you see. And here we are, our design is ready, hit like if you find it good and view the channel's playlist for more design tutorials. Goodbye for now.